what game is this from? This song. I don't know. That's going to bother me. Oh, we're live. Hello, everybody. Hello. My name is Dangerous. Uh, well, I'm, I'm very dark right now. Let me fix that. Uh, <laughs> didn't, didn't realize how dark I was. Uh, hi, we're going to be running Resident Evil Village today, and I'm getting my splits open uh, just, for, just for posterity's sake, not for any... Not like we're going to PB this run. Anyway, so time is going to start uh, when I hit skip and we start the cutscene. Once we start, uh, we can introduce the uh, the commentators and, and get all that stuff uh, situated. So time is going to start in three, two, one, go. All right, so like all good speedruns, uh, the very first thing we're going to do is put the baby to bed. Uh, this is... Every great speedrun starts this way. Um, you know, you... Take, you know, Mario, you know, puts the baby to bed and then goes to the castle to collect 120 stars. Uh, you know, um, Blink puts the baby to bed right before he goes to the castle and saves Hyrule. Uh, every good speed run starts this way. So uh, we have to, it's just a very long uh, interactive cutscene for the first little bit of the game. Luckily, this stuff is uh, pretty straightforward and easy to do. Uh, Couch, would you like to introduce yourselves? Uh, hi, my name is Meta, and I ran this game at launch. I haven't run it for a very long time, but it's good fun. I'm excited. I, I'm Blaine. I also ran this game a little bit during launch. Uh, been meaning to get back to it. It is a fun run. We'll, we'll get there one day. One day. Sure, sure. Soon, that, that, that list is growing every day. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get shorter. This, this man has said he's going to, uh, he's going to do a lot of runs. And, and I will. And he, he, he says he will do a lot of runs. So now we're on Snow Walk. Uh, Snow Walk is a notoriously long and very, very boring section of this of this run. Uh, and part of why resets are so terrible in this game. <laughs> we have to sit here and just walk through the snow for a long time. It's supposed to be a horror theme section. It's supposed to scare you because it's dark and creepy and you can't see where you're going and you sometimes forget which direction you're going. Not like I've speedrun this game before or anything. Uh, and yeah, this is uh, this is what we're going to be looking at for the next couple of minutes. Uh, luckily, we are speeding up uh, a little bit in, in some sections. Uh, downhill seems to work really well for Ethan. So uh, the story of this game, uh, if you if you played Resident Evil 7, this is sort of the this is sort of like Resident Evil 7 part two. If you want to think of it that way. Um, come on, stand That's up. That's a good way of putting it. Uh, it's it's a continuation of the same story. Uh, it's a lot of the same characters, um, you know, you're back home with Mia, uh, your your wife that you rescued in, in RE7. Uh, you have a baby uh, during one of the cutscenes we skipped at the very beginning that was like five minutes long. Uh, <laughs> your baby is kidnapped. You are uh, kidnapped, presumably, and taken to Slovenia. Oh, and oh. your wife is murdered. It, yeah, yeah, and your, and your wife was murdered during that cutscene as well. Yeah. Uh, you're, Mia you're, is dead. You, you were, your wife was murdered. Your baby was kidnapped. You were kidnapped. You're, you are separated from your baby, and you are now trying to go find your, your baby. Um, there's a lot of things happening that we're not going to get into. <laughs> but it's some, suffice some it to say. say what's that? I was going to say, some might say you want your baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. I'm not going to apologize for that. One could say that, That's but good. why would one? Why Why would one say that? I wouldn't expect you to apologize for that. Yeah. That was great. Anyway, so I can't see chat right now. So if uh, if any of you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, post them in chat and my commentators will uh, respond. All right, let's see if we can get cutscene skip. Oh, shoot. I spun too early. Oh, Darn no. it. Ah, it happens. So that that little animation right there where you stop and look up at the ceiling because stuff crashed. Um, you can actually skip that, but you have to be blitzingly fast to spin the camera and, and jettison your way toward uh, or past a trigger line. Um, I've only ever gotten it once ever. Um, yeah, you have to, like, I wonder if it's the like, camera. I wonder if it's like one of some of the skips in uh resident evil 7 where like phone skip is like apparently you need like 400 frames a second to do it like it's I don't really think it's frame yeah. related but you never know it could be yeah There's, you never know you definitely is... don't need 400 because yeah. i can't get that many frames <laughs> i can't either i'm i'm capped at i think 120 
Um, oh, that's quick. right. This game has a FPS cap, doesn't yeah. it? I forgot. Required. Yes. So right. we're going to do a pause buffer here. Let me see if I can get it. There we go. All right. So you saw where we paused. And now when we load back in, hey, look at that. We are farther up than we were before. Uh, we'll be doing that a couple times throughout the run. Some of some of those pause buffers are very inconsequential. Um, they do they do not save you a lot of time. Um, they'll maybe save you a centisecond if executed perfectly. Um, other ones like that can save you upwards of three seconds. So we'll do a couple of them, just kind of show you where they happen. But we're not going to do every single one that you could possibly do because they they do cost more time RTA than um, than they uh, than they save you. Uh, in, yeah. in most cases, if you've never seen a Resident Evil speedrun before, three seconds is so much. Huge. Like that's a, that's huge. That's a huge. Um, these, these and like for instance, that, optimized. for instance, that the cutscene skip that we mentioned earlier, I think that saves maybe 0.5 seconds to like a second. And if you're going for a world record, you would reset on on, on missing that cutscene skip. I never did because I'm like five minutes plus behind world record but uh yeah if you're you know if you're a top gamer that's a heat that's a reset point <laughs> have you tried um going faster than five minutes oh, you know what little... i should i should try that actually one that, of the that most like iconic and useful items in the game the bolt cutters you be seeing that a lot and we use them exactly one time <laughs> literally once Right, so we had to walk up there to proc this cutscene. We run back here, kill these three lichens, and the cutscenes. <laughs> now we can uh, whip out the assault rifle uh, and go through a four minute auto scroller. This whole next section, from the moment that I get these guys to start screaming at me. There you are. Um, by the way, Dane, if you do get the opportunity, um, there is no Discord screen share, so I don't know if that's... Oh, that's right. I did not... Yeah, we're, we're, Here, we're kind let of me do that it. real quick. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're, we're working on it. It's we're all good. Our best. We were managing. Uh, if you're wondering why I brought up bolt cutters so late. <laughs> <laughs> um, quick okay, explanation, Wild. Thank you very much. Uh, quick quick explanation as well about uh, categories. So this is New Game Plus Blitzless. Yeah. Uh, there is obviously new, new Game and New Game Plus. We also have Any Percent and Blitzless. So New Game Plus, uh, uh, we have such things like Infinite Ammo. Uh, we also have some of the best guns. Uh, normally you wouldn't, you would just have like a regular like pistol. Like it's like a Glock basically. Uh, but obviously we have a fully automatic assault rifle here um, with infinite ammo. You can also get a lightsaber, which I don't think is actually faster, but it is hilarious. It is um, fun to use. <laughs> New Game Plus is awesome. And also it's it's a lot more comfy because you don't have to worry about like uh, resource routing. With like ammo and um cam fluid and all that kind of stuff so um and that's the big difference between like new game and new game plus is you know new game mm -hmm. plus is all movement it's just like it, it's a referendum oh. on how oh. fast how so, straight of a line can you draw whereas really really quick um yeah. apparently the discord stream has murdered murdered the the twitch stream so apparently you can you yeah. should turn that off <laughs> yeah, so, sorry about that yeah we're, we're we're here to be helpful and supportive Bummer. And... <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, eh, well RMTP okay. servers, yeah. what can you do? We got it, we got it. Right, so you, you can at least <laughs> see what's coming up, and you guys know the run, so you can yeah. you can predict how well this is going to go uh, badly. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is just a really long auto-scroller section. Um, we used to think that this was uh, based on frame rate, so what we would do is we'd come over here and we'd stare at this fence just to squeeze out a couple more frames. Turns out, not frame rate, it's just on a timer. So from the moment those those lichens started screaming at the very beginning of that cutscene, uh, we were we were on that timer. We were waiting for this guy to show up. Hello, big man. Guy. So once he's here, we get out the magnum. Three shots. He falls. GGs. Goodbye, my friend. 
And we just have to wait out the rest of the cutscene. Resets are painful. I, I, I wouldn't wish resets in this game on my worst enemy. <laughs> uh, that is the one thing that carried over from seven. Yeah. Is um. The, yeah. At the very least, you know, RE2 remakes resetting is not so bad. You're you're in the game pretty much as soon as you start. Not this game. Right, but you, yeah, fair, fair. <laughs> This game, you have to you have to go through a snow walk to get to where you're going. <laughs> what hair products does Dane use? Asking for a friend. Chaos, are you asking for a friend or are you asking for yourself? <laughs> uh, I use shampoo and conditioner and then a detangler. So it's 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 lather, rinse, then repeat, yeah? I believe that is the order, yes. Okay, okay. just checking. All right, we're waiting for the Skyrim moment uh, for this cutscene to, or this auto-scroller section to finish off. Uh, should be coming up momentarily. Well, because, Dan, you used to be an adventurer like me, right? Yeah, but then I... Wait for it. <laughs> I, I have to feel like that was an Easter egg. <laughs> I have to feel like that was an Easter egg. I mean, if you're gonna take an arrow, if you're gonna take an arrow. Take take it in the appendage. <laughs> the appendage, yes. <clears throat> the the like appendage at the joint. <laughs> so here we're gonna get the maiden crest, <laughs> and we're gonna whip out the rocket pistol. Now I love the rocket pistol. This is a great weapon because. It's a little mini rocket launcher with explosive damage. And it's still not the most powerful gun that we have. Not even by a long shot. This is actually, uh, I think the rocket pistol does 700 damage and the Magnum, the fully upgraded Magnum, I think does 2,800 or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's honestly, it is like, the rocket pistol is like kind of not very, I mean, it's not not good, but it's also. It's, it's yeah. useful in some situations, but not. All situations. Uh, yeah. I, I don't mean to be that guy, but it's a normal pistol with incendiary rounds. But, you know, you know, video game. Explosive does not mean incendiary. You it don't go get explosive in a full... Anyway. <laughs> SF. Game logic. Or shots fired. Let's go. Shots yeah, that... Fired. I definitely see an S and an F and not just a lot of bullets. Okay, look. I did the best that I could. <laughs> I can't do much in this situation. <laughs> so this is a lot of cutscene stuff that we're, we're skipping through. Um, pretty much that the, the characters that we all meet here are more or less ancillary to just kind of showing you the situation about like, here's what's happened and here's how you're going to, you know, work around it. Uh, and that was the right first there. instance of a pause buffer. Meta, you want to explain that? Sure. Yeah. So that, uh, yeah, that right there was the first time we're going to use pause buffer. We're going to be using that a fair bit. Um, this is again one of those strats that's only um, faster in game time, but it is actually quite fun. Uh, unlike buffering or the other form of buffering, the, in my the reload opinion. Reload buffering. But, yeah. Um, this is really cool because once you open like a drawer or open a chest or whatever it is, or like uh, this gate thing here uh <laughs> the the animation still sort of like quote unquote plays out in real time even though you've paused it um it does you don't see it but then once you unpause if you let the sorry if you've paused for enough time for the animation to quote unquote play out then you can grab it through whatever you were uh waiting for so it seems like you can grab stuff through like walls and stuff like that it's yeah, really cool while actually. a chest is still closed yeah. <laughs> so this is our first uh, instance of RNG in the run, where the crest, the crest rotation position will be randomized to some degree uh, each run, uh, within about a like a ninety-ish degree uh, rotation metric. Um, RNG there was not terrible. It was actually pretty decent. Um, I did this run last week uh, for another marathon, and my RNG uh, crest RNG was terrible. <laughs> 
it was about as bad as it gets. So uh, luckily that is not the case here. Now this is the cutscene where we meet all of the enemies in the game. And it is very, very long. So we're gonna skip it. You'll meet them eventually when we kill them. <laughs> Peepo runs. <laughs> we just have to run through this section. Um, fun fact, these these guys like that are reaching through these walls, um, they can't hurt you. That guy can, but we're not we're gonna be so much faster than him that it doesn't matter. Um But yeah, the the enemies here, if they're reaching through the walls, they can actually they actually can't hit you. They they don't even actually have any collision. Um there's just the one enemy can actually hurt you. Like if I reached over and let those guys swing at me for a little bit, they they wouldn't be able to touch me. Um, now we're going to get to something that is not actually physically possible. I got so turned around just now. Um, now we have to break these chains on our wrists. How are we going to do that with these spinning blades? Let's pretend like that's physically possible and could actually happen. Sure. Even sure. though it can't. And it wouldn't just turn you into ground beef? Yeah, yeah it sure. It wouldn't just, not. like, pull you right into the blades and grind you to a pulp. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you can have a rocket pistol, you can do just about anything. It's true. Or a lightsaber. <laughs> well, yeah. It's a lightsaber. And it's a double-bladed lightsaber. It's a Darth Maul lightsaber. Well, yeah. I mean, if you're going to have a lightsaber, like, I mean, <laughs> come true. on now. There's no other option, really. Yeah. Yeah, R.I.P. Darth Maul. I know he came back in that other thing, but like we all know, somebody made a mistake. Anyway, <laughs> so now we are getting to on. the castle. Uh, the castle is the first kind of big set piece of the game out, outside of the village and like the whole you know opening section where we're we're getting to the castle and, and doing all that. This is the first like kind of not side area um it's not a side area at all it's a main it's a main quest area but it's it's the first like branch out from the village um and this is where we meet the this is where we meet the everybody's favorite character from this game w which character did <sighs> big tall vampire lady <laughs> vampire lady if i have to say that one more time i'm gonna scream <laughs> do you want to give her an name a try <laughs> I believe I believe it's pronounced. Oh, what was it? Dommy, mommy. No, 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 yeah, that sounds about no, right. No, no, no. Gentlemen, what? gentlemen. I didn't. Gentlemen, I didn't say the other thing. Also, ow. <laughs> Dory, he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. In this game, you splash a little Gatorade on your hands, you're fine. No worries. Super glue. Yeah. Gatorade super glue? Gatorade super glue. Well, Gatorade flavored super glue. <laughs> Did you taste well, that, it? Well, that's better than super glue flavored Gatorade. <laughs> that's just all Gatorade. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's true. <laughs> all right, so you, you can actually do a, a uh, another reload buffer there, but it's... I'm actually... I'm not even sure it actually saves time. I think it actually loses time, but... That's a different discussion. Um... She's called. That's <laughs> that's a name for it. Right, yeah. So, whoop. So, something about like I think she's a diver, right? Scuba. Is this scuba? Something like that. Yeah. I can't remember why I invited you both to the couch for this room. Um, <laughs> I remember why. I mean, you had a dress rehearsal for this. We're recycling jokes. I it's true. It. We are recycling jokes at this point. <laughs> we we did this last week. People have no idea that we're, we're doing the same exact content twice in a row. <laughs> hey, stand-up comedians tour on the same thing for years. And the one thing we are, are well, I mean, I'm sitting down, but <laughs> comedian, I would, you know. Sit down, comedians. Myself. I'm sit down. Let me string you up. Comedian. Hopefully the run this week goes better than last week, though. We actually got our voice line to play this time. Last week when we when we did this, uh, her voice line didn't play. All right, we got another reload buffer here. So we didn't even touch the ground. Didn't even touch the ground. And we're already down here. Look at that. 
amazing how these reload buffers work. They're a pain. I hate doing them, but they save time. Significant amounts in some cases. That one I think saves like five seconds. Um, that's we want to get into the nitty gritty of of why it's not in game time and it's it's different. Yeah, why think. the in game time um, timer for this game is like actually it, one of the most it, cursed it, things ever. Yeah. So Meta, you want to talk about that? <laughs> uh, I forget the exact issues with the in game timer. I believe it was like it counted time during cutscenes, but it was like paused during. Like different like menus and stuff like that. Yeah, it was so, really weird. Well, it paused, like the, pr the prioritization of where it was pausing and where it wasn't pausing for yeah. the in-game timer was like super weird. It's it's one of the weirdest timers I've ever seen in a game. So the timer does not pause during cutscenes, but it does pause when you are interacting with the merchant. And right. It's so yeah. bizarre why they did it that way. So uh the Amazing cursed toast. By the way, that was a boss fight. Um, the, the boss fight's over. Just, yeah. Uh, so the amazing cursed toast who coded the auto splitter for this uh, game. <laughs> Poor guy had his work cut out for him because he had to find memory addresses for not only all of the possible places that you could split, but he had to find a way to get the uh, the auto splitter to pause during cutscenes and run during the merchant. The poor guy had his work cut out for him uh but he did a fantastic job because this uh the oh, yeah. live split timer now works phenomenally uh and it's actually well, I, accurate unlike the in-game timer <laughs> well i think another big issue with the game in-game timer was like if you died and reloaded checkpoint it reset the time to yeah to the checkpoint not oh yeah yeah so like you, you classic either, i think console runs have to do deathless um, well, yeah, but that's that's a common thing with a lot of Resident Evil games. If you die, yeah, GG. And that's that's only because of the use of the in-game timer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, such so a you... terrible in-game timer like thing. Yeah, yeah like RG, not, I mean, not all, uh, yeah, Every yeah. console had such different load times that you couldn't really justify doing it straight up RTA either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why they end because it was either do it RTA or or do it in-game time, and and there wasn't really a it was sort of a pick your poison situation. There wasn't really a good option one way or the other. Um, so I look forward to the day when we have like really accessible video auto splitters. I think we're, nice. we're getting closer every every month. <laughs> uh, and like it is if if you aren't aware, video auto splitters are a thing, and you can get like load removers on console. Like I think there's certain communities like uh, the Horizon Forbidden. One sec. There we go. I did listen for an audio cue there, uh, and my <laughs> ah. game is very quiet, uh, just because we had to mix it a certain way. Um, so I was trying to listen to that. Um, so yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn or Horizon, Horizon Zero West. Dawn and Forbidden West, I think both um, are, have load removers and auto splitters on console, which is cool. Uh, Last of Us as well. So the the tech is coming. It's just not super like accessible yet. I've like. I have some level of familiarity with making like regular auto splitters, and I tried to learn video auto splitting, and it's weird. <laughs> Certainly a different piece. Yeah, and there's also like multiple methods at the moment, so. But eventually, I I'm hoping that we'll, you know, have one, one method, and that it'll be easy. <laughs> one splitter to rule them all. So that cutscene that we just skipped just now was, I think, the one that actually got Maggie Robertson her her award for best actor because she's the one where she she flings the table and oh good grief I'm getting stuck on the walls. Um, is the one where she like flings the table and smashes it. Um, it's a great cutscene, but we have to skip it because it's a speed run. Skippable cutscene. All right, so I need a little help with uh oh I'm supposed to do a reload there. Um, I need a little help with this. Uh, Blaine, can you give me a hand? Yeah, I can. Yeah, you, you look like you need a hand. I need, uh, I need I a little bit of a hand off. with this. Um, yeah, I, uh, you can just hand that off to me. I can hand it off to and, you. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, then, then when things get out of hand, we'll, we'll hand off to Meta. You, you do have a point. Oh, 
Oh, you, you can blame the organizers that, for accepting this run. <laughs> yeah, no, it's never gonna. So, can, Dane, Dane, can I say it just once? <sighs> Fine. Uba. Thank you. Uba. <laughs> Thank you for not screaming it like you did at the MDS armor. <laughs> <laughs> Our I got little, tech team, dude. <laughs> I, got a little, I got a little overamped. Hand puns for this excited. game are kind of low-hanging fruit. No. Well, I mean, you could just reach up and grab... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean that. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, so this is going to be one of the first places in the game where the writing starts to be questionable. Um, what we just poured on our, our arm was not esopropylene alcohol, but was, in fact, super glue. Gatorade. Gatorade. And Gatorade, it's, flavor, and it, super glue. And, and it melts your jacket back together, because clearly, if your hand got cut off, the 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 wrist of your sleeve would just stay on the hand. Look, as, as video as game dust. logic. Yes. Video game logic. I mean, to be oh, fair, geez. there is a there is a stitch mark in the shirt where it was quickly sewn back together by the nanites. Do we have nanites in this game? <laughs> no. Okay. Nanites. That uh, just seems to be like the the go to. Ah, we don't know how this is happening. It's nanites. Oh, oh, the oh, like a MacGuffin kind of thing. All right, yeah. Piano puzzle. A trope, if you will. All right, so it's C E F D F. I don't actually know. I actually did that without <laughs> mistakes for like the first time in forever. Nice. Hey, let's go. Um, uh, but yeah, if this is your first time watching uh, Resident Evil Village, you may be watching that hand thing and be like, that's ridiculous like that is so out of place and yeah. like it still kind of is but yeah. it is sort of explained away later. it, it is like, explained yeah. in the plot line and, and but it's so, still somebody checked it out but yeah it is it is outrageous like the first time i saw it i was like nope 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 <laughs> too too dumb too stupid too dumb i mean that was a boss fight by the way so um <laughs> yeah was, so this fight. is obviously one of the advantages of new game plus <laughs> this fight is much longer on new game and fun fact, uh, I think all of the sisters are skipped in any percent. Um, if you're familiar uh, with... I think you did the first sisters. one, don't you? Oh god, I can't remember. I think you did the first one. <laughs> I can't. Please. I, 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 Bell, any percent you. was my like main category, and I don't remember. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the biggest difference between any percent and glitchless is that you can do what's called a pipe bomb clip, where you like shove yourself in between like a doorway and then you throw a pipe bomb and the recoil throws you out of bounds and you can skip to the very end of the castle from like pretty much the beginning which is like huge for a resident evil game because yeah, it's like, like a four minute skip. <laughs> the triggers are usually so specific that you can't do such things um in fact i'll, I'll explain a a potential skip that ended up not happening later in the run because of that exact thing, but um, the, it just it just that so happened time, that this this worked out, <laughs> and that you can just skip like most of the castle in any percent. But obviously, this is glitchless, so we won't be doing that. I mean, I believe the whole franchise is pretty uh, tight like that. Like I know Resident Evil Seven, there is one out of bounds skip that is used. What even even five years later? Yeah, and it and it seriously it saves thirty seconds. <laughs> yeah, and the only reason and and it's not that you trigger anything in the game; it's that you pick up an item early, so that you don't have to go back and pick it up later. Please, please. But, oh, oh, okay. oh. Uh oh. Oh, you should be so lucky. Hey oh. yo. Hey hey. Oh, you yo. gotta pay for this. <laughs> yeah. Ma'am, please move out of the way. Thank you. I don't even remember the last time I got stuck on her, but I got stuck on the doorway, so I was I was too late to squeeze around her. So you're supposed to wait at the doorway for like half a second, like half a second, just so you can squeeze by her. Um, in hindsight, I probably should have done. I, once I realized I was stuck, I probably should have dropped down to 30 FPS, but uh, oh well. Yes, late now. Um, but yeah, it's like you're, let's you're supposed to that wait. Tech really quick. Like to get through there and then I, I got stuck on the doorway so I waited too long and then she <laughs> oh dear it seems I've been impaled <laughs> yeah and about that 30 FPS thing by the way there's a yeah, really that's... weird thing in this game where if your frame rate is lower uh, the 
I think it's. Oh, is it the other ones as well? It's in the yeah, engine. Resident Evil Seven. It's, an, sure. it's an engine specific specific <laughs> thing yeah. that you your hitbox is smaller if your frame rate is lower. You're like your your hitbox is tied directly to frame rate, um, and it is as far as we know the only frame rate dependent thing in the game. Um, <laughs> which kind of makes you wonder if you go like fully uncapped and you have like 400 frames would you be able to fit through like any doorways and you just have this huge hitbox uh, or what What if we like used our <laughs> just dropped it down to like 10 FPS like we do in some other games Gross. run away. through everything Resident Evil Village slideshow <laughs> gross <laughs> So, I mean, somebody, somebody asked uh, in um, a chat one time, I won't say which chat it was, but uh, they asked, if your hitbox is smaller at 30 FPS, why don't you just do the whole run at 30 FPS? Which, I mean, which is a valid question. I mean, it's, yeah. it's actually a valid question, but it's... Ugh. Yeah. The, the prospect. Okay, uh, I do not think I'm going to get this bait, but I am going to try and do it anyway. So you're going to see the first instance of... Capping the frame rate here. You won't yep, live she... long, even if you run. <sighs> Darn. Well, just, that sucks. Just There's only one spot around. in the run where it's really required to do that. Yeah. It is getting smacked around. Dominated, if you will. <laughs> yeah, and because it um it doesn't lose you time to change the frame rate because the timer pauses when you're on that screen. Um there's no reason to play the entire run in 30 FPS. <laughs> and that would, <laughs> that would just be disgusting. So, well, so we I'm not normally here. a huge fan of... Uh, go ahead. Yeah, so we run in here because uh, no. when we're in here, the timer pauses and we have to wait for that door to open. So we're kind of cheesing the timer a little bit by running in here and getting the timer to pause, waiting for something to happen outside the door. Um, Ma'am, please stay away from me. I'm scared of you. I accidentally fat fingered my <laughs> my pause button, uh, but that's the, okay. That doesn't. The other hard. thing uh, to mention is if you see the cursor in the pause just like moving like really rapidly, what, what Dane's doing is he's holding down W so that he starts running as soon as he comes back in game. Mm -hmm. In case you're wondering, and if you weren't wondering, now you know anyway. <laughs> sure. You'll see like you go like scrolling through real quick. Uh, anytime I, I am about to unpause the game just so I don't lose any forward momentum. As this boss fight is, is like a very rigidly choreographed dance. We have to shoot her a few times to drop her health down, and she will not take any more damage until she's broken these two archways. So she's gonna crash through here, smash this doorway. Blah, 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 blah. Then, after she's broken the second archway, then she'll take damage again. Shoot her a few more times with the extremely powerful mag. Yeah, she'll sometimes still do that attack anyway, regardless of how fast you, you deal her damage. So, some say this weapon is rare, but I think it's, it's they're pretty well done. Like, they made it. Um, for the record, this gun is called Steak. <laughs> I'm not. I, I wasn't even gonna. I wasn't even gonna put that out there. I was just gonna. <laughs> it's a well done weapon because it's called a steak. <laughs> ha ha, Blaine. Very funny. You a well, funny and it, guy. And you, and you don't get it in game. Like you, it's it's part of the rewards you unlock yeah. after your your new game plus. So it is rare. Right. Never, remind me to never ask this guy on the couch again. <laughs> I, 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 I'm watching the feed and I can see you fighting eye rolls. Okay, hold on one second. So I have to wait to shoot at a very specific moment for optimal speed because you won't take any damage until that point is hit. And so I'm, I'm trying to time that shot um, so that it, it lands at the right moment. Um, so that's, that's the only reason why I wasn't shooting like immediately out of um, after she landed. All right. 
So we just got a flask, and at the time, at this current moment, we have no idea what's in it, but we yeah. do know it's important. Yeah, that is true. We don't know what's in that flask, but you'll find out. You'll find out actually yeah, you... very shortly. You just get a. I'm trying not to make the same joke as last time. I'm trying to think of something new, but I'm not that creative. Is the problem? Blend's a father, by the way. I am. Oh, come I on. I am. And I just, you know, that explains I feel the dad like, jokes. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like my fatherly instinct tells me that I need uh, that flask. True. True. Yes. They're headed back to the village uh, after killing everybody's favorite character. Um, sorry. Yeah, I mean, the game's pretty much over now. The rest doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not. Uh, one Mommy's third dead. Who of the way the through the game or anything. So heading back into the village, uh, we're now going to see a few more puzzles uh, compared to what we saw the first time around. Uh, the first time we s we were through here, I think we only really had the crest puzzle, and that was it. Um, yeah, I don't think there was any more than that. Now we're going to get a few more. Uh, first, we have to... This is the Duke, by the way. He is the merchant of the game. And he's everywhere. Yeah, one he's of the either... funniest Easter eggs was uh, in when you're buying stuff from him, uh, he'll, he'll say... What was, what's the line he says? He says, uh, hey, 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 thank you. Oh, that's just a little thing that a friend of mine once said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like a fun little Easter egg. Oh, what were you going to say, Meta? Oh, um, yeah, the Duke is, like, literally everywhere. And so he either runs very fast or he teleports. <laughs> or there's yes. multiple Dukes. Or, yes. Yes, I'm I'm going to try and sneak that fan theory in one day. <laughs> or or maybe it's just video game logic. No, Dane. So, no, Dane, I saw that you shot, like, randomly over a fence there. What was that about? Oh, you know what that's about. You've played this game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. I see how this is. Okay, so that's. I don't do the same. Yes, and we do. Yes, and I don't know uh, what that skip is called, but basically, you're shooting a door from where you're not supposed to be, and the door's intention is to be a shortcut to leave the area. Oh, excuse me. We're actually going to use it to enter the area much quicker. Um, and I believe that saves like 30 seconds of you like climbing a ladder and going across some rooftops. So instead, we're just going to climb through a window and just go through the door. Um, you, know, you, know, you know when it says this door uh, opens from the other side? No, don't. It'll open, right? It's locked from the other side. Yeah, that's what I meant. I don't know. Hey. All I could trying to help. All I could hear I, in my head every time I was playing this, like playing this casually, and I I saw that stupid thing that said it's locked from the other side. All I could hear was uh, the the doctor from uh, which one was it? Um, the Princess and the Frog, Doctor Sevilla. I have no idea what you're talking. It's about. a Disney film. <laughs> I, I have seen this Disney film, uh, you know, as a father. I thought it was a great film, uh, but I have no idea what you're talking about. It's the sorry. song. I, I've got uh, friends on the other side. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry if, if the channel gets DMCA'd for me seeing that. Well, <laughs> yeah, so that, was, that was clearly Nailed pitch it. perfect. So, yes. How was it? So fun fact, this uh, this little spot right here. This, this cutscene, and then you get a map, and the timer runs during this map, but the map will, uh, the timing on the map will change depending on if it's been loaded in. So if you want to get a PB, you, or, I mean, maybe not a PB, but, like, if you want to, if you're competing for record, you have to load up a previous save right before you get that map, play through that map cutscene, and then start a new game in order to get that that part of the cutscene to play out as fast as possible. It's one of the dumbest things <laughs> that you have to load up a, a previous save just to play through that cutscene. Because if you don't, that map animation will take longer and the timer runs during that. So you can lose a couple of seconds just on that cutscene. It's very, very weird. Um, but yeah. 
And now we're coming up on the most action-packed part of the uh, of the run. This is the highest. Oh, baby, I'm so excited. Highest <laughs> amount of of action and combat and um. Yeah, this game's pacing is it flips between like an action game and a horror game. Yeah, it's very, very weird. quickly. Um, and this is definitely the action-packed part of the. This lot. is the action-packed part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, it's yeah. so action-packed that we're going to use all of our weapons. Um, because we're totally going to keep all of our weapons for this. I don't want to be alone. Hope you have enough ammo. This can't be real. This this can't be real, but it is. <laughs> I will I will say this though. This is my favorite part of the game. Am I losing it? Uh, because it is it is the most horror-esque section. Um. And I just thought the dollhouse was really, really well done as like as a horror a horror section of this game. I, I do agree. Like I, this section, I thought like casually and speed run, I thought was just really I I kind of want more of this, you know? Yeah, see, that's where you and I are different. <laughs> uh. I was we too busy peeing same. my pants. <laughs> <laughs> the, I, to be fair, uh, from a development standpoint, they should have put this part later in the game. Because I know multiple people who just, they got to this part and they just, they noped out of the game. Yeah. That was just, it was like, nope, done. <laughs> they freaked out too much. I mean, yeah, they did their yeah. job correctly if they freaked them out that much. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. There's... In fact, right. I think there's, it, like, the achievements. I think you can see, like, a definite drop-off from, like, whatever yeah. the achievements are up till now. And so I know this is glitchless, but we are going to do a very tiny glitch where we poke our nose outside and we get a little speed boost. You're not supposed to be able to move this fast in here, but because we just barely poked our nose outside, we could run all the way through here. Um, unfortunately, if you don't get that first try, you you lose time. So I, I'm I'm now doing this section slower than if I just started walking. Um, it's like first or second try um, starts to cost you time. <laughs> in, in the chat, that's kind of a good point, right? I mean, it's a you, good point. If you quit if you quit a horror game during the horror port during the horror the part, horror port. I am a professional speaker. You typo I, even when you're saying words out loud. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> <laughs> I have adult ADHD. <laughs> I'm just saying. But yeah, I know if you. If, if a horror game's too scary for you, that's kind of on you. <laughs> Get good. <laughs> what? So this is a puzzle section. Uh, this is requiring a lot of knowledge of oh, to the right. There we go. Um, a lot of knowledge of, of stuff. So this, this section actually takes a little bit longer if you don't know the like the answers to the puzzles. But we already know the answers, so we can skip a lot of this this section. Um, like that locker or that lock combo, for instance. That was only. Uh, the only reason why I know that is because we've already solved that puzzle. It's it's uh, Ethan and Mia's anniversary. Um, and the way you're supposed to get that is you pull the ring off the off of the mannequin. You go clean the ring um, to get. Um, OK, hold on one second. I don't even remember the like original, like what you have to do. I just know the answers, uh, right? Yeah, you, you pull the ring off, you clean it in the sink, and yeah. then you look inside the ring to see the combo, and then you use the combo to open the lock. But we already know oh, the combo, yeah. so we could just skip that, and it yeah. uh, saves a lot of time also, that way. if you notice, uh, Dane will kind of move the combo in the wrong direction first, which uh, I know happens to me, and I think it's common. Mm -hmm. I think they programmed them upside down. I don't know. <laughs> well, they're inverted, feel... so in, in yeah. a sense, you're not wrong. Yeah, because inverted is always wrong. I said it. Even in flight simulator? Yep. So one annoying thing about this this mannequin puzzle is if you interact with the wrong part of the mannequin, um, there's this animation that you have to play out where he like, you know, steps back away from it. And if you and the, the parts are so close together sometimes that you can like miss um, 
you could like miss a spot and like hit something like I could hit her eye instead of her mouth by mistake. And then I'm like losing six or seven seconds each time I do that by mistake. So I'm like being very careful about timing when I hit the interact key, um, walking up to the mannequin just so that doesn't happen. Cause it's, um, it's, I mean, you could literally lose a run just on that. Um, cause six or seven seconds is an eternity in a run like this. <sighs> Huge cutscene. <laughs> we have to just sit here and wait. All right. And we are coming up on everybody's favorite part of the dollhouse. Well, yeah. It's coming soon, TM. <laughs> yeah, so honestly, this is, I don't know, this might be a hot take about this section, but I feel like if they wanted it to have the maximum effect, they should have ordered it differently. Because there's a section after you finish this, like, I guess, basement area, where you go back upstairs in the elevator, and then there's another section that plays out, and it's, like, way less scary. And it feels like this area, if it came after the one that's actually coming later, which is a weird thing to say, but it feels like this area would have more finality for the area. You know what I mean? Yeah. Also, Dan, what was what was the split called? I can't remember. I cannot do this freaking door puzzle to save my life. That's an interesting split name. Yeah, yeah interesting split name. That's but like, not the name of the split. I understand. I'm not going to say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> the split is called Father. <laughs> Anyways, we have an unskippable ladder here. It's one of, uh, I think, two unskippable ladders in the whole the whole game. Uh, we have to walk down the ladder, grab the grab the key, and the then ladder. go back up the ladder. Can't skip that, by the way. You can generally jump down anywhere with a ladder, but you can't do that here. And then broken crib, not ominous at all. Nothing foreshadowing. Nothing to there. see here. By the way, these steps are copied and pasted. So if you're playing this casually and you're walking up these steps, you can see that they copied and pasted a bunch of them. <laughs> I literally never noticed that until you just mentioned it to me. And now yeah, I'm that. not going to unsee it. So thank yeah, you. No, that, yeah, that exists in me forever now. Thanks. All right, hold on. All right, so I have to walk past that second banister on the, on the right. And then um, you hear an enemy. A thing. It's a baby. It's not a monster. Definitely it, not mean, a monster. Well, not a freak of nature. I actually have to do this part really fast to one cycle it. If I don't, I have to run. I have to do this whole section twice if I don't do this fast enough. So I'm trying. No, oh, no, 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 no. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Okay. This is. Oh. This is... You can't use scissors there. <laughs> Thank Dane's you, trying to pick the lock. Okay. We may get eaten here. This may be bad. Yeah. I'm stuck. Close your eyes, chat. Oh, this is bad. Oh, we made it. Oh, my God. Ooh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't believe we made it. Baby yeah. So you briefly chat. saw the monster that's chasing us. <laughs> I cannot believe I got through there. That was... <laughs> Nothing short of a miracle. So now we're going to do what, what's called baby skip. Now baby skip is where we skip the baby. Because the way this is supposed to work is you're supposed to run back through there and you know, crawl, under the crawl under the bed. We're going to instead... And the baby doesn't see you under the bed because babies are stupid. I'm scared. Dang Let's up. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm lost. I can't see in the dark, believe it or not. So I don't know where I am. All right, I'm going to leave it at 30 FPS. That's not your stream. That's the game. It, it'll be fine. We'll put it back at 120 a second. Um, yeah, the timing on this is a little bit more precise than I would personally like it to be. Also, I think the name for this skip is actually Dub Baby Skip. <laughs> yeah, it's called Dub Baby Skip because, yeah, the rapper, the rapper. Yeah, it's actually I've heard of that too. Being old, I still know who the baby is. Just wanted to point that out. 
Um, Good for you. I'm more I'm proud, proud of you, you knowing knowing yeah. who the baby is. That's definitely yeah. something to be proud of. Well, I mean, that's right up there with like the new class of rappers, like uh, like six nine. Like he's pretty good, right? I don't know. I don't listen to rap. <laughs> so now we're going into the boss fight for this section. <laughs> Alright, we put the fuse in. And No! No! No baby! Bad baby! No! No! So fun fact, if you don't get if you get in here and you don't push the button, the baby will eat you. The baby. Ask me how I know that. <laughs> How do you know that? It happened. <laughs> How good has that been to me? But luckily, that's the end of the baby. Uh, One more the baby. The baby has definitely not led to people leaving Blaine's stream while he's streaming it casually. That didn't happen. Yeah, that 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 happened too. Oh, did it happen? Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, like I'm telling you, that part of the game <laughs> freaks people out. I mean, it's good yeah. for that reason. Yeah, but like that part of the game, like people have left my stream, they've left other streams, they've quit playing the game. Like it's yep. it freaks people out. So this this boss fight is pretty inconsequential. She says, "Try and find me," but she's in the exact same spot every time for this first one, uh, and yeah. then two and three. She'll cycle between two different positions for each one. Um, so there's a good spot and a bad spot. If we are lucky, she'll be in the bad spot for both of them. At the marathon that I did last week with this, she was in the good spot for both of them. So you got to see the god RNG. She's in the bad spot for this one. So she's if she's not behind that banister, she's here. Now, that one only cost it. you maybe three seconds. Uh, the, this part is that? creepier than the baby part. Uh, I disagree. For me, for me, like, Don't the like creepy dolls. dolls, I'm like, Ugh, nope. <laughs> oh, we got the crap RNG. So we got the god RNG last time. We got the crap RNG this time. Uh, if she's here, that one costs you like six seconds. So you could lose upwards of like nine seconds. You don't lose Just nine seconds. This. You lose the whole run. You lose the whole you run. Because yeah. you reset. Because <laughs> you yeah. reset. You don't make it to the end. Yeah. She does want to know what you are doing to her cute friends. I mean, look at all her cute friends. <sighs> Adorable friends. And then somehow we're magically teleported back to the foyer of the house. Um, don't question sure, the logic here. <laughs> But yeah, I just, I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, do you not feel like this section is way less scary and impactful than the baby section? No, and, I, like, is that not, like, really weird pacing? I don't know. The escape from the baby in the elevator, I, I think you're right. That would make a good... Yeah. Like, that uh, would be such a final, good, like, final moment yeah. for the area, yeah. you know? I, yeah, I agree. I agree. But the boss fight yeah. does make a lot of sense. True. And the yeah. baby is the final boss in this section just kind of wouldn't i mean do we really need to make sense like haven't we been through this no we don't Rocket need to make pistols, sense gatorading your hand back on like true gatorade was it like when you were a kid gatorade up, as a verb it was it was like saltine crackers and cam campbell's chicken noodle soup were like the cure for Oh, yeah, like yeah. any disease and, and ginger ale and ginger ale yeah what is and it? then when like, you get uh... to be an adult it's super glue and gatorade <laughs> <laughs> what's the name uh ambrosia i think ambrosia yeah the the greek the the dessert of the gods so this part coming up there's actually another um another spot coming up in just a second where we can drop the frame rate to 30 FPS to get around an enemy. And if you don't, it'll actually sometimes push you backward. And so you can lose a second or two um, on that. And a second or two is mission critical in this run. Um, so it's coming up right here. So believe it or not, that thing's hitbox is humongous. Don't be fooled. By doing that, you saw how I kind of got stuck there for a second. Oh, my my hitbox was 
shrunk enough that I was able to squeeze by it. If I did not change the frame rate back to 30, I would have been pushed backwards. So that is the Beneviento house done. Now we go to Moreau. Oh, Yo. we should have we should have uh, checked to make sure they had fish moly on FFZ. Uh oh. That was a big enemy, but it's dead now. It's fine. Fish mole. We got fish mole. All right. When we get mole. when we get to the next part, we are going to need to fish mole. First, let's shoot the snot so we can walk through it. Yeah, the, the w mucus wall. Um, <laughs> and you might think, is that is that a wall of mucus? It might be a yeah. question you'd ask here, because that's a yeah. question that any reasonable person would ask. Uh, and, and the answer is yes, it's a wall of mucus. Well, I mean, it, it plugs the way. One could call it a mucus plug. Yep. <laughs> but so we're coming one... up on another elevator here. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> So fun fact, elevators are loading zones. So when the game was being promoted, there was like this whole big thing about there's no loading, there's no loading screens in the game. Well, you saw there, there was like that little buffer in the pause in the pause menu like that. That's actually the loading taking place. And so during an actual run, you will pause multiple times here during this during this elevator to kind of get things to load faster without running the timer um it is a very frustrating component to uh the game i really wish <laughs> they maybe just added load screens instead because doing that pause buffering is just it's super frustrating you have to do it several times at all of the elevators and when you're doing that on like a bunch of resets you sometimes just get so sick of it you want to throw up that is definitely like yeah. one weird thing that i think the asl probably could have been improved upon with is like it could have just read when it was actually loading <laughs> you know it would have been rather nice, than but... pausing on like cutscenes and all that kind of stuff like or, or or in addition to i should say yeah but the problem is that like it it runs partially during that and partially doesn't it's very mm. like it is strange it'd be sure. very weird like stuttering in the timer if it did that so fun fact that room where we got the flask just now um, if you could get into that room, you could get the flask and then leave. <laughs> uh, yeah. Man, you want to talk about that? <laughs> yeah, so this is a skip. Um, I was just planning on calling it Moreau skip, and it's actually very close, uh, but not... not un Unfortunately, it is not fully possible. Um, but yeah, you can clip into that room, get the key, and just leave. <laughs> you can leave and skip this entire region, and it's fine. It works for like 20 minutes, which is like, you know, huge. And then... Uh, <laughs> and yeah, so you can continue through the fourth area. You can complete it just fine. And then when you reach the, the final thing where you put all of the flasks into this, like, uh, I don't know, centrifuge pillar thing, uh, it's supposed to go down and, like, bring down, like, an elevator. And it just doesn't go down. It just doesn't work. And the reason I think this happens is because it's doing a check to see if all of the bosses are dead. And so because of that, that? it doesn't work. But everything else about the skip works. You can go to the stronghold, which is the next area. You can get all of the flasks. You can get all of the keys, etc. You just literally can't progress because it does a check for the boss. We think. <laughs> <laughs> so it feels bad, man, because that would have been like... You know, 20, uh, 15 to 20 minutes time save in any percent it would have been like huge. All right, so here's another reload buffer. I'm going to. I missed it during the last event. I'm going to try and get it here. Come on. You can see how annoying that is to do that, but that's what you have to do to save time. Um, that's yep. that gets them standing up and, and ready to go as soon as you uh, load back in. Um, yeah, now this is a very long section where the screen is going to shake like crazy because Moreau is just he's out swimming around. He started his transformation to his. His final form, so to speak. Um, Fish mole. 
is fish molly form. Fish so molly. You are just having to suffer with the screen shake. So if you get motion sickness really easily, um, I apologize. It's, I, I wish it were not this way. And they're shooting these these um, wooden planks to lower the pathway so I could get through here. Now I have to go. I have to do this really fast. We're gonna miss the cycle. Don't cross that platform fast enough. You get, you'll get eaten there. Um, and I shot this this platform down when we first started this section. Um, I don't know if you were supposed to be able to shoot it from that far away, but uh, you can, and it saves a little time doing it that way. Then you push the metal rail cart into, and it floats. Here's another re uh, uh, reload buffer that we're going to do. And this one gets the platform behind you to like fully raise up and be ready to go. So we're going to do this one because um, we'd be standing there waiting for the platform to raise if we didn't. Ooh. Just like that. I almost missed the lever there. Uh -oh. oh no! I must have missed uh -oh. the blue lever there. Weird. Uh -oh. I didn't think uh -oh. I missed it. But... Oh. Uh. Okay, so we're here again. Also, fun fact: it doesn't matter which platform you like fail on or like fall into the water from. It teleports you to like a specific place, and that's where you drown. Yep. And you can kind of see it too. Like if you pay attention, you'll see you go whoop. <laughs> it's kind of like when the baby will pull you backward uh, if it decides to eat you. I have to stand mm -hmm. here and wait for a row. Yeah, hey, uh, I mean, is this guy me. the worst or what? Yeah, he's, I think he's the worst. Oh, I guess he's the best. Uh, he, he said he was the best, so I guess, he, I guess he's the best. Some some of the dialogue in the game is a little questionable. It's a little Except bit. for that line. That line is... It's the best? It's the best. It's classic. Yeah, this is this is the moment for fish moly. So if you if if you are keen to spam the fish moly, the fish moly, fish moly, because we're not gonna have much, we're not gonna be around much longer with uh, Moreau. And this is one of the I mean, differences be between between uh, like New Game Plus, played on casual, and New Game Village of Shadows, where you're fighting Moreau for like ten minutes or something like that. Yeah. No, I mean, this is a pretty difficult I boss fight, I thought. Yeah. Super difficult. It is on Village of Shadows, I'll tell you that much. Or it's <laughs> more just, like, atrociously long. Oop. I missed the ladder. Yeah, I mean, Moreau is, like, a absolute sponge and can just soak up damage. And so, if you fought him on Village of Shadows and you didn't have one of these, like massively strong new game plus weapons i mean you were just pumping ammo pumping ammo into them come on this is what i mean about you can like hitting the wrong item costs you time <laughs> it'd be very frustrating doing that he's the best around nothing's ever gonna okay okay i think you were supposed to sing that dan windmill rng so literally losing time just waiting for the windmill to spin around. I'm pretty sure my PB, uh, this the windmill was already ready for me when I got to it. So I, I lost no time there. So uh, that's just a time loss that you have to you just have to eat and deal with. It looked like he was going to eat us there, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Come on. The interact points are so weird and confusing. Oh, we got another reload buffer here. Gonna wait until... Alrighty. How you feeling, Ethan? Okay. Good to hear. <laughs> I don't know why he randomly says okay, but he does. I think he's just like excited that he can now like go open the gate or something like that. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> it's my own. It's like my only. Man, this puzzle took me embarrassingly long on my casual playthrough. <laughs> it took me a second to realize. Wait, it's rotated, and then I was like, "Oh, it's rotated." Duh. 
All right, so I have to go really fast here to get in front of Moreau. And... Okay, we're in front of him. If you don't get in front of him, he will push you backward. And you can lose like three or four seconds just on that. Um, luckily, it's pretty easy. As long as you buffer your inputs, it's pretty much free. Um, all right. I don't so now I we're on the Moreau boss actually. fight. What was that? I don't think I ever did that, actually. I don't think that that was known at the time. And that's the Moreau boss fight. He gone. Oh, weird. Ethan skipped the line. Didn't that happen I, last I, time? It happened last time, too. That's so weird. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. It's very random. It's a, What's the line? In life as he was... Or he in says, death as in he, death was, as in he life. was in life. Disgusting. Disgusting. Well, yeah. But then we we run so fast that we tr we proc the next line like right after. So it, it's, it sounds like he's saying, yeah. in death as he was in life. He exits up ahead. <laughs> so yeah, this is the key. And literally right to our right there, that's where we were about, you know, 15 minutes ago. <laughs> When uh, Moreau was about six feet that way, giving his lunch back to the world. Um, yeah, and you could grab that key and skip that whole section for a while, but not, but not really, <laughs> but not really, because <laughs> eventually you're gonna pay for it. And yeah, that's the Moreau section done. Uh, we are now headed to the stronghold. This is one of the probably the more poorly written sections of the game, or or rather, it, it's written in a way that. It's very weird because so far, each of the siblings of Miranda, the, the children of Miranda, sorry, um, each of them has had a flask. We got one from Lady Domotres. We got one from Moreau. Screw you, pig. That pig has, has cost me time before. Um, so it's fine. It's fine. It's a video game. No pigs were actually harmed in the execution yeah. of the speedrun. You have to shoot the pigs. We so have you to shoot the pig. meat. We're saving the frames. Yeah. And killing the pigs. Anyways, um, so <laughs> each of the the children of Miranda has had a, a flask. One Lady D had one of them. Moreau had one of them. Uh, Donna Beneviento had one of them. For whatever reason, the last child of Moreau, Heisenberg, does not have one of them. Instead, it is uh, with one of the giants, one of the giant lichens. I don't know why the Lycan he, has he, it and Heisenberg doesn't. It's He actually does have it. He gives it to you in one of the cutscenes. <laughs> Heisenberg he? gives it to you. Yep. But you get it in the stronghold, not at the factory. Correct. That's what, and that's then I, what don't... I mean. Like, like the stronghold's not like... It's not a, a Child of Miranda section of the game. Correct. Yeah, I don't remember the reason why you go to the factory, honestly. But yeah, you get... Like, Heisenberg literally just hands the flask to you because his idea is that he wants to work with you and, like, um, defeat Miranda. But the way he wants to do that is to sacrifice your daughter. So, obviously, you're not very cool with that. <laughs> Where is your daughter? Um, I don't you know, think, here, I don't there. Think talking about that. It's just in a few places. Here, there. Uh, around. It's almost, like, it's almost like she fell to pieces. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah so those flasks. <laughs> um, those those flasks are actually like crystallized versions of uh, parts of our daughter Rose. Yeah. Uh, cause it's magic. <laughs> yeah. Um, Miranda has like basically separated Rose into four pieces. Uh, to I guess be like batteries for each of the, um like main bosses of the game because our daughter is very powerful for reasons we will explain later oh yeah so like what you're saying is olive oil is made out of olives this is actually baby oil made out of babies yeah i i guess that's one way of Accurate. putting it yeah this <laughs> section is supposed to be like difficult but <laughs> we have a stake um there's just the way for the uh the gate to lower and, and suddenly the differences between uh, casual New Game Plus and New Game Village of Shadows become abundantly starkly clear. Because, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, this section, if you play this game on Village of Shadows, you know this section right here this was a nightmare. Um, and we are going to laughably fly our way through it. That two of them jumped down. That's not very common. 
Usually one of them stays up here. All right, so one guy can hit me, and it's usually this guy, and it's usually... Okay, he didn't hit me this time. It, it's all a matter of iframe timing. You have iframes while you're on that, that pulley, um, and your iframes disappear the moment that animation ends. I'm going to pop a rocket pistol shot there just to scatter all of them. I'm going to run through here. Yeah, for whatever reason, Ethan will always do a fall animation there for some unbeknownst reason. Uh, yeah. So this is a, this is kind of a weird part. So he's supposed to like get a little bit of a uh, story stuff here. Now, you might be able to hear this on the mic. I'm tapping my keys instead of just holding down, holding them down. You actually move faster by doing this because the beginning of the animation is faster than the rest of the animation playing out. So you can actually gain a little bit of time by tapping like that as opposed to holding down the key, which intuitively makes sense, but then <laughs> the opposite ends up being true. Um, it's very weird. All right, so we're going to throw a few shots at this guy before he gets down here. That's not good. Okay, I'm going to try and get him to not call his buddies. Come on down. Come on. Come on, it's hammer time. Stop calling your friends, sir, and jump down here. He did the same thing here. last time. Yeah, he did the same thing last time. <laughs> yeah. Right. And that's the fight. So that, that whole thing is choreographed very, very specifically. Um, and yeah, you can lose a little bit of time on RNG depending on which animation he does. Um, sometimes he'll try to call his friends first and that'll cost you some time. And you, you can't kill him when he's up on the ledge. He has to jump down to die. Yeah, exactly. Which is annoying. So now we have all of the flasks so we can head to the factory. There's a lot of running sections. Luckily, I mean, if you played RE7, you can see how kind of different this game is by comparison. Um, even though they're they're very similar games, our, the whole of RE7 takes place in a house. Well, not the whole of RE7, but most of RE7 takes place yeah. inside a house. Um, whereas uh, this one is RE7 huge. RE7 also has a boat. Also, also has a boat. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's a little different than the boat you just got out of, but it's a boat. It, it is a boat. Right, now to... Yeah, funnily enough, the iron insignia key that you get in the castle is still used in other places in the game, which is unusual uh, for a game like this. Now, Steve sometimes gets in the way. However, Steve has been very nice the last couple of marathons. He's actually stayed out of our way. Usually Steve, one of the goats there, is standing in the way. And when Steve hits you, he will stagger you. And Steve once cost me a PB because he hit me and cost me the amount of time that I would have uh, PB'd by. <laughs> I was not happy. Thank I was actually Steve. pretty pissed off. <laughs> and so... Oh, shoot. There we go. So now we're inserting the rest of the pieces of Rose into the chalice. Yeah, so uh, if you're curious, this is where my Rose Skip fails. Yep. Like 20 minutes later. So we put in the last flask, and then now it's going down. Oh, no, uh, that, that's yeah, coming this... up in a second. We have to run... We have to run oh. to the ceremony site and then... Uh, right, right, the right, 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 okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, okay. If I remember... Okay, so what happens is... Um, I think the game pauses, but it doesn't actually give the the chalice to you. That's what happens. I'm now remembering. Oh. Yeah, um, it's something like... Yeah, the chalice breaks somehow. So, yeah, the... Um, so, right, you know, when you do it the intended way... Uh, the, it like the game pauses it comes up with like sort of a, a screen and then the chalice is in the middle of it. it's like you acquired this item it's still it does like the pause thing but the chalice never shows up so you're just like hard locked there you can't do anything i think you actually even have to like alt f4 the game <laughs> i actually didn't even know you had to alt f4 that's funny didn't realize you were if i remember correctly to be fair it's been like a year and a half <laughs> umbrella wait a minute 
So now we are just waiting out this elevator. Um, there's supposed to be a time-saving strat here, but I'm not fully convinced that it actually works. Uh, you're supposed to, like, pause in a certain spot, um, but it, from what I've seen, this elevator ride takes the same amount of time regardless if you pause or not. Um, I have never seen it go faster or slower based on if you pause in a certain place, so I don't... I, don't I, I have it. seen it go slower on console. I'm wondering if that's... I could that believe that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the, I, I, you know, I, I feel really bad for console runners of this game because, yeah, like, they got shafted. Because, like, if you if you bought an Xbox instead of a PlayStation, I, th I think PlayStation's faster. Like, you're you're instantly fighting from underneath by like ten seconds. Like, it's another pause uh, or another reload buffer here, and that puts us a little bit ahead. It saves about two seconds give or take and this is the cutscene where we actually get to meet heisenberg well at, after like the beginning of the game where we uh where we met all of them uh this is the one where we actually talk to him face to face one on one heisenberg he's the one who knocks right he's <laughs> that's the, the, the guy with the middle heisenberg. name danger Bird. oh the wrong heisenberg the wrong heisenberg that's, that's oh. a that's a can heisenberg. i just bring up why don't we have a slide option for this area because like look here's the animation for the slide i i think if you're running you should be able to slide under those pipes i'm just saying <laughs> it would be cool if you could do like a like a crouch slide all right so yeah. now we're going to come or, up to well, ethan's biggest uh enemy this ledge this ledge oh, right here ledge. for whatever reason he will sometimes wait to climb it like that it does not make sense i do not know why <laughs> but Sometimes they'll just refuse to climb that ledge for a bit. And I've seen people also, lose runs to that ledge. In the chat, Solid Spider Snake said, Under my umbrella, Ella, Ella, hey, hey, hey. And you ignored it. I did. <laughs> I got your back, Solid Spider Snake. <laughs> so this is the factory. This is by far the longest section of the game and this thing is an absolute maze uh it's so freaking hard to figure out where you are playing this casually um and i mean even as a speed run it's the longest section um by a pretty wide margin uh it's just one of those things so i'm gonna aim a shot here nice got it So luckily, the uh, the rocket pistol's proximity is is so wide that you can hit these little red dots that are in these doorways that we're going to be seeing throughout the factory. Um, and if you shoot them, they open doors. I mean, you have to shoot them to open to open doors. Uh, let me time this one. Ooh, okay. I'll have to deal with that one on the way back. Um, but luckily, the rocket pistol's got such a huge proximity that you can you can shoot it and hit those from pretty far away, um, in some cases. I'm trying to move my way through here as quickly as I can. Right. I gotta oh, he's say, away. though, I, I love the enemy design in this section. I, I think, I like, the enemy design is, is like, that biomechanical... I just, I really enjoy the aesthetic overall. Yeah, I agree. I, mean, I think the enemy does, design is really good in the whole game, to be honest. I mean, the lichens are really well designed. Um, there's a lot of variety in the lichen design as well, which I appreciate. Uh, that is one thing that, uh, there's not a lot. Resident Evil 7 has the molded and and the molded and, um, <laughs> and the molded. The molded. What's what's variety? I yeah. mean, they have they have tall molded and they have crawled molded and um um oh come on oh, yeah like God. it's <laughs> dude can't hit these shots my God Oop. that is the wrong one here we go get out of the way I can actually Oop. oh I was being blocked no wonder. You're supposed to shoot those red dots to get the the arms to stop swinging, but uh, you can time it instead. And either option's fine, but for speedrunning, 
you have to do it pretty consistently or you'll, you'll lose time on cycles, uh, which can be really annoying. Not ominous. Uh, we're going to unlock that door for later. I come over here. I ran out of mouse room. <laughs> and that's what I mean about shooting those red dots. This is where Rocket... Boom! We're in the castle. Alright. So put the cog mold in. Now we gotta go deal with this guy while the cog mold is, uh... Yeah. ...is working, so... Okay, we you, gotta watch, him. you gotta watch where you put your cog mold. <laughs> you this is a family friendly show, Blaine. I, I said cog. You did say cog. cog. It's true. I, All right. So now we got the. It's called the big cog in, yeah, in the game, or the I, large I, cog. So now you rock out with your cog out. <laughs> this is a family friendly show, Blaine. Never mind that we're showing violence and guns and stuff. Anyway, Nothing so... wrong with a large or a small cog. It's... Oh, it gets the job done. Yeah. It's it's really how you use your cog that matters. He was right in time another shot here. <laughs> Ignoring everything else. Um... Yeah, there's there's a, a group of five five dots here, and you shoot them off all at once, and the door is open for you when you get here. Nice little time save. Yeah, you can see why this is a troubling part of the game, <laughs> playing this casually, because it's very e I mean, it's like a kind of an open-world-ish construction for this whole area. And it's very, very easy to get lost uh, in it. By the way, there's an enemy that's been chasing us uh, throughout this section that we actually haven't seen because we've had our back turned to it pretty much the entire time that we've uh, been been in this, this part of the game. So you'll see it coming up in a bit. Uh, but we've been actually avoiding it, uh, like looking it in the face, quote unquote, uh, as we've been going through this whole section, like this whole factory uh, section. Uh, this is the other unskippable ladder in the game. Um, one of two ladders that you cannot skip. Why that one? No clue. Every other ladder you can jump down. That one and the one in the well, in the Benevento house, gotta climb them. No clue why. Doesn't make sense. Here we are. <laughs> so this is supposed to be like an exposition section where uh, Heisenberg tells us a little bit about his motivations. Um, spoiler alert, he's a crybaby, and he just doesn't like his mommy. And that's kind of the whole reason why he's... Uh, yeah, pretty much. Complaining. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a little, little bit of mommy issues there. All right, got both of those. That's good. Which I thought was, like, a refreshing take, because usually it's, it's daddy issues. This time it's mommy issues. Like, that's refreshing, I think. Another no? one? A lot of people that play this game and went to the to the castle that have mommy issues as well. <laughs> They're shooting all those dots to get the blades to stop spinning. Now these guys can be problematic. So if I just take them out real quick with the stake, no problem. Now this one sometimes jumps up here. Oh, okay, we got a uh, <laughs> marathon last week. That guy did not let me get on that ladder very, very quickly, <laughs> and I had to, uh, I had to get impaled a little bit before I could, uh, I could climb that ladder. He played nice <laughs> this time, Impaled a though. little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Just, like, just really the, just the tip. It's, it's so, really if any of you, uh, are fans of it, uh, I must warn you, this is my biggest fan. I, I thought it was interesting that, that they uh, included a boss that uses OnlyFans. Oh no, I've jumped ahead. I've ruined my joke. Oh no! I thought we were somewhere else! Rewind, oh, I never said that. Dad messed up his own joke. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I failed. So this section you are rescinded from 
equipping your weapons for some reason, uh, but then you can re-equip them as soon as you go through this this little hole, this door. <sighs> Long section. And the factory is paced weirdly as well. I, I'm not a huge fan of this part of the game, and, it, and it's the longest section, which is frustrating, um, because the pacing is super weird. It's like a lot of enemy sections interspersed with a lot of uh, puzzle sections, and it's just like the pacing is super strange on it. Um, you know, we, we can talk crap on the Beneviento house and its pacing, but it at least doesn't have like this jarring guttural whiplash. It's true. I mean, to be <laughs> clear, I don't hate another. the Beneviento pacing. I just think that it could be improved, you know? It could be improved. Yeah, it's not perfect, but... It certainly I just think it would game, be but boring. it is a very good game. I'd like to see you try. So now we gotta wait for this elevator to get up here, so we are sitting around uh, doing nothing in new game. They'd go grab that. We don't need it. All right, now if you are a good speedrunner, you will get to that button uh, quickly. <laughs> some, some might say you want to get there before. Oh my god. <laughs> Please. The runner's hair. It's dark. Runner's hair. It's pretty good. Pretty good hair. Thank you. Take good care yeah, of it. Not, not, yeah, not gonna lie. Yeah. All right. So uh, earlier, oh, interesting. These guys are dead. Usually one of them's alive here, and I have to shoot again, but they're both dead. Uh, we got. Oh. Ooh. Almost screwed that up. You have to time your shot here to kill that guy. If you don't time it properly, uh, you. Okay, hold on. I got time. This one here. Got it. I mean, it does require a little bit more precise timing on that one. Uh, but yeah, if you don't if you don't time that properly, you'll end up uh, getting hit, and that's bad. You kill them, take them out, while we wait for the mold here to finish. Come on, pick it up! <laughs> Why? And then for whatever reason, my splits are jacked up. <laughs> I think I remember that happening last time too. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I tried to oh. I tried to squeeze around him, but he just wasn't having it this time. <laughs> you, you can't screw it up. The enemy clearly knew the drill. Ah. So you can do another ah. 30 FPS trick there to get past that guy, but I I usually just shoot him instead. He doesn't usually block me like that. Um, he just happened to that time. I'm just waiting for Duke. What, what does he do? He like sneezes sometimes or he does like some weird, like some Duke things. Sometimes he'll be reading a book. Sometimes he'll sneeze. Yeah. Duke's a, an interesting, an interesting guy. So right here, we're going to fight that enemy that's been chasing us through this whole section. And you're going to see we're going to come face to face with him. Do, do, do you want to hear my completely original and unused joke about this? Sure. I think it was interesting that they made a boss that uses OnlyFans. Ah, ah, ah. Wow, I feel like I've heard that one before. Nope, all original. Just said for the first <laughs> time right now. Yep, yep. <laughs> So yeah, that door, you can just walk through that door, uh, it deloads, um, and, and you do that in order to uh, pretend that you didn't just hear Blaine's joke. Um, this, this lever right here can be a real pain sometimes. You'll be standing like right here and you can't interact with it, but then you get to here and you can. It's so strange. Uh, and then, <laughs> talk about pacing, we had a boss fight, 
we're about to go straight into another boss fight immediately after because pacing yep. pacing mm. now in fairness there's like a very long cutscene right here and if i can actually grab this uh all right so you can normally like just move forward but if i use the rocket oh, i missed you can use the rocket launcher on this thing to kind of shoot yourself into the elevator and that saves about a second or a second and a half. Uh, a little, little time save optimization right there. Just spin around, shoot the rocket launcher and you're in. Um, but I, I aimed in the wrong spot apparently. <laughs> By the way, um, Blaine Solid Spider said, A C what you did there. So you, you've got a, uh, you've got a friend. All right, I'm going to, Oh, I did not time that properly. Uh, we're going to pull out here and then we're going to reload checkpoint. This is going to re like refresh our rocket launcher. It's going to get Heisenberg prepped for the fight. This saves upwards of like eight seconds. It's actually like a huge time save. So it's pretty much mandatory to do it. Um, and you just have to shoot these orange portions of his arms and limbs and stuff. Uh, this fight on Village of Shadows, it's not any harder, it just takes longer. It takes forever. Yeah, so not harder, just longer, and, and more annoying, Because really. you have a tank. You don't have your your regular weapons. Right. So you're sitting well, around you a, it, just shooting them like this. <laughs> it's very yeah. annoying. Yeah. And you also have a chainsaw on your tank, as is, uh, you know... As you do. I'm literally just spamming. Spamming click to get the rocket launcher to fire right away. And then there is one little section of this, uh, this fight that is done with your regular weapons fighting this guy. Like this. Um... And that's the whole section. <laughs> so they make it seem like if you walk up to him, you'll get hurt, but you can actually just like ram yourself up against him. And they don't expect you to do this. So you're going to get warped outward once the cutscene starts. Just like that. And this is one of the only cutscenes in the game that you can't skip. Um, and it's certainly the longest one that you can't skip. So we're just sitting here waiting for this, this cutscene to, to play out, which is nice. Gives you a moment to get your coffee, enjoy the scenery. I mean, luckily, I mean, you walk away from this fight pretty unscathed, eh? Like, you just, you're fine now? Yeah. I mean, nothing yeah. really bad happens. No. It's pretty much just like, you know, you do the fight, that's it, you're done. Yep. Yep. Uh, Ethan's dead. So, <clears throat> some stuff happened in that cutscene. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Ethan's dead. Uh, we are now taking control of a different character. One that you have oft played in the Resident Evil franchise. As soon as I can skip this cutscene. Can't skip it right away. You have to wait for a certain point. Mm -hmm. We're now playing as Chris Redfield. The this is the um, this is the, the part of the game that made everybody say, oh, it, it's Resident Evil Modern Warfare. <laughs> I mean, to be fair. <laughs> it is very... It's a very combat heavy section, um, yeah. easily the, the most combat heavy section of the game. Um, but we're not actually going to kill that many of these guys. So fun fact, if you look up while you're running through here, um, the enemies will not aggro quite as quickly. Now, they'll still hit you sometimes, um, but they are a lot less likely to hit you if you just look up like this. Yeah, see, like it, it'll happen once in a while, but it's not that common. Well, if, if you can't see them, they can't see you. That's how it works. Yeah, that, that's how it works. Um, so the pacing on new game for this as well is super weird. 
because on new game you're using you know like maybe a shotgun or the the even though like fully automatic smg is like just very slow fire rate and you don't have a lot of ammo but yeah like you're you know not super modern warfare or anything like that um and even in new game like you spawn in with chris and this uh assault rifle and like 400 bullets which you would never have in new game yeah um and so it's like super weird pacing but you know it's enjoyable yeah there's, there's not really a lot of resource management in this section the way that there is in other parts of the game so we're gonna just run past these guys now i'm gonna actually fight the, the guys in this section um one thing that's really annoying about chris is where ethan will uh oh, bad time to reload uh where ethan will keep running if you come on or Ethan will keep running when you fire. Chris, for whatever reason, will stop sprinting. Dude, you gotta let me go through here, dude. My guy, please. Just okay. keep getting shoved back. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you as soon as you proc this part of the cutscene, then then you're fine. You can start uh You can start this. So we have to call in three airstrikes on the mute of my seat here. Uh, where is it? I'm gonna grab the hand grenades. And we just have to wait for the thing to reload. Uh, so it's a, a game of survival. And these are infinitely respawning enemies. So no matter how fast we do this section or how many, how many of those guys we kill, we are sitting around waiting. Please don't hit me, please don't hit me, please don't hit me. No! Ugh. Yeah, so if they hit you, they, you, you lose your, your charge on this and you have to redo everything. But luckily killing them will... Uh, it's a flash grenade. Uh, luckily it's, it's... You know, once, once you call in an airstrike, all the enemies die. So we just have to sit around and wait at this point. Um, one thing that we're going to do in a second is I'm going to chuck a nade. Oh, please let me through. Oh, come on. Charge this up. And as soon as that third strike, dude, dude. Not cool. As soon as that third strike comes in, the metamycete here will deload and we can run right through it. That did not go well. But we're through. Alright, I'm going to drop down here, just grab a few items because I'm trying to uh, reload, reload, reload. I'm trying to get everything uh, kind of ready for when I show up here to do this fight. If you remember the dude we killed at the very beginning of the game, this is his big brother. I'm going to guard that just to keep from getting, like, heavily staggered. Whoops, wrong button. Uh, I'm going to equip one more set of nades, chuck those, and now we are in a spam fight. So this is literally just shooting this guy. And I goofed because I did not time my reload properly. So there's, like, a weird cooldown. If you run out of bullets and then you, you uh, reload... It actually takes a second to start the reload animation, but if you do it before you are at a zero bullet mag, um, it goes a little faster. And then that's the end of the fight. So that is all the combat for this section. See what I mean about it being a very Resident Evil Modern Warfare. Uh, yeah, we only have one fight left. We're almost done. We are rapidly approaching the end of the game. A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. Now, unfortunately, it's the turns out me is alive. <gasps> what? Captain, I have All right, so we just found the Keep your the Mega My Seat. Do not move until um, I order. I know it's too late now. And now we're going to find Mia. We really should have told Ethan. This is a lot, like, you, you kill the final boss of this section, but then you still have to kind of play out a bunch of story stuff, so. 
you run in here and you're about to run into a lab where they're they're keeping Mia uh, uh, prisoner. Uh, there's a bunch of memos and stuff to read and it answers a lot of questions about the storyline. We're not worried about that. We're just doing the cuts. So in that cutscene, you actually find out Mia's alive. She's been alive that whole time. And actually, the person that was killed at the beginning of the game wasn't Mia at all. It was Miranda, who's a shapeshifter uh, and was pretending to be Mia the whole time. What? what? By the way, this is a uh, we, we're Wait. just sitting around waiting for this part. This is a, this is a, just a timer uh, section. Uh, what were you going to say? It looks, it looks like you're Ethan. I thought Ethan was dead. Oh, yeah, Ethan's not dead. He's alive. So, like, death in this game doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> at least, well, <laughs> it, it's pretty final at the end of the game. Let's be real here. Uh, but, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of trickery and deception happening. Okay, so we're going to skip this. I gotta go. And then navigate through here. Sometimes you can get stuck on that stuff. Um, just random things in the environment can get you stuck. Uh, you you got a ride from Duke, right there. Yeah, you got a ride from Duke, who actually a plays a role in the story, unlike the merchant from RE4. Which is awesome. <laughs> yeah, agreed. My guns are loaded. We are ready to do the final boss fight. And the final boss fight, guess who? Miranda! The one who's orchestrating this whole thing. Who's been trying to get your, your daughter revived and to steal her power, blah, 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 blah. Here we go. We're walking in. Now I'm going to shoot her 13 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Switch to the assault rifle and just finish her off. By the way, fun fact, she has one hitbox for this entire fight. Uh, you can shoot her in the head or in the pinky toe and it'll do the same amount of damage. There's no extra damage for headshots. Very weird. Uh, but yeah, I'm literally just holding down left click right now. That's all I'm doing, and I'm just aiming. Uh, There's not much to it. Once you get to this part, the fight's pretty much over. Um, this is just like one final little QT, QT section. And time is coming up right now, and time. GG. 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 Underestimate. Let's go. Underestimate. Well, that's also a, a pretty pretty generous estimate <laughs> i gave myself just in case things went really really bad um uh, i probably could drop this down to like a like a 142 estimate and, and be okay um but yeah that is resident evil village uh a first person shooter kind of um but yeah there's a, <laughs> a lot of cutscene here um that you finally get the actual like ethan's dead cutscene Spoiler alert. Um, and there's a cutscene right here that plays after the credits. And guess who's guess who the focus is? Guess whose POV we're in? Wait, wait, wait. Um, Mia's. No, no, guess it's Rose. The... Blaine, you've oh, played Rose. this game before. Rose. Oh, Rose. OK, my, my bad. I swear to God, Blaine. Okay. Yeah, that is uh, Resident Evil Village. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash dangerous, D-A-N-E-J-E-R-U-S. Uh, I stream mostly speedruns, but every once in a while I do some casual playthroughs and stuff. Uh, you can find my commentators at twitch.tv slash meta underscore live. He is, by the way, the community manager for speedrun.com, and he's my friend, and I like to brag about that because that's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then you could find uh, Mr. Blaine here at twitch.tv slash that Blaine guy. Uh, not that guy Blaine, yeah. but that Blaine guy. And, and he, he not does not brag about Blaine 168. There's a there's a meme here, uh, by the way. Just just <laughs> yeah. So um, <laughs> hope you all hope you all enjoyed and enjoy the rest of the marathon. Take care, everybody. Bye. I have a lot of tests coming up.